cut that off a moment, will you, please? Oh, I love the bar. And it's really not the bar, you know. This is the broken boulevard, of, the boulevard of broken dreams. That's really what it is. And it's not the bar. It's better known as King's Highway. Yeah. It's a wonderful place to live when you're broke. But it's very cheap. It's very cheap living. You can always go in and get a, a bacon and egg and then sandwich and toast for a quarter of the morning, a cup of coffee. It's very cheap living, and I like it very nice and very quiet. Huh? Oh, man, no place like that. I like it. Why do you like it? Because you can drink, and uh, the Don't cops lock you up and hit you over the head and uh, get out the same day. No time. How long have you been here? I've been Seven here. years, on and off. Fifteen. Place. Fifteen years. Planning on staying? If I'm around, if I don't, if I don't drink no wood alcohol, I'll be here. Yeah. How about you? Same thing. That's my uh, partner here. Any time you ever try to find out someone who is a friend, you find it on the Bowery. They're the biggest guys that ever lived, they've always got a dime in their pocket, but they won't divulge in their pocket. But so help me God, you can always get a nickel from the bump, but you can't get a dime from nobody else. And I uh, wonder about these social workers at the men's shelter. They're stupid. Why they, do you say that? Because I've gone through it. They are stupid. It, it's not that I have any thing against social workers as such, but these people down here, you know, they are stupid. The body comes along with a uh, certain extent to people that... Uh, down depressed, people that lose their wives, children, and mothers and fathers. I've been in the valley 14 years. I, I was working uh, nine years in a place, and my wife got killed with a car, and that's why I'm down here. Well, how do you like it here? Well, I don't really like it, but misery likes company. And so we're down here, and if we were somewhere else, we'd be so lonesome, we'd just naturally wander down here anyway. I may get off one of these days, but I went off, I always come back here. Isn't that funny? Why is that? I don't know. I guess misery likes company or something. Come on, get out the way. Here's my funny thing. See? See? No, I'll raise you. See, I'm not stupid for my conversation, you know. Sure. Well, what the hell are you going to do? That's right. So you meet a guy, a misery loves company. Yeah. And shake hands with misery. Uh, it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. There's everything here. A person wants. You can get all kinds of jobs and anything. You can do what you want here in the bar. Nobody bothers you. If you don't bother nobody, then nobody bothers you. Well, I like it because the people are so regular. They're really not bombs. Some of them are unfortunate, but they're not bombs. I don't think so, anyway. Well, when you don't have no place to go in, uh, how, do you, how should I say this? When you can't get a job, what can you do? Yeah. Honestly, you yeah, I 55 years old, been a professional fighter, a musician, and uh, so I had domestic trouble, and I was raised in Mud Street. I've been an altar boy, and I've been... Everything. Yeah. But now I'm a, I don't want to admit it, but I believe I'm an alcoholic. A periodical alcoholic, because I'll work if I can find a job. The only reason why I'm down here right now is because I had a slight injury two years ago, paralyzed half my arm and my hands. As a result of this, I can't do too much work. I've been trying to, uh, you know, get some work, but every time I apply for a job, they see that I'm handicapped and they won't hire me. In other words, I had to leave Jersey City to come from New York to get money. Well, would you call it subsistence or what? Just living. <laughs> we get the pension now. That's what keeps me surviving now. I was, I was able to work and do a couple of days' work. I'd like to. But I can't get it. So as they find out, you know, if you're 70 years of age, you know, no dice now. Years ago, oh, about 
quite a while back there. I used to get three days a week, you know. And I was happy. Working, you know. You know, contented. But this way, loafing around, what the hell, you don't know what to do with yourself. You go in there and drinking. What the hell? I drank too much on this bar, and it's a bad luck. I'm an alcoholic. And uh, I I try to straighten myself out. And uh, But, but uh, I... I I couldn't do nothing. I mean, uh, well, I've worked. I've worked. I've worked. But I'm an alcoholic, and I need a drink. I'd rather be working. I work slow right now. It's been slow. I work. I'm a rummy. That's it. How did you happen to come down here? Well, because, uh, well, uh, I felt that the people were more friendly. And they are, really. Find everybody down here. Lawyers, doctors, school teachers, professors, and, you know... I'm going to be out with I'm a man with money. But I can't, I can't do anything different. I wish I could. I'll be honest with you. Do you like it down here? No. Hell no. I live with a clean hope of Carl Gable Flower. The other people that used to know, they're all beat up, all messed up. So I came down there and I said, well, that's the best way to get rid of all your troubles. So you take a little drink and you pass the world by. See, I haven't been one of these terrible alcoholics and it's getting worse. I do. It is. Uh, I get these creative urges and I want to tell people about it, but uh, a lot of people say they don't want to hear. They don't care. They don't care. You never know who you're talking to until you listen to them. Talk to them and you find out the background and you know them. Yes, you do. How would you like to marry? I hate it. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't. I don't care too for it. Too much for it there, Captain. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm doing the best the cat. Help. The Bari, the Bari, uh, it's no good. No good, it's a, it's no good, son. It ain't no good, that's what I'm going to tell you. No good. You are going to be candid and truthful? I don't like it at all, frankly. I don't like it at all. How do I like it? Well, the Bari stink. Wonderful place. Wonderful. No, it's no good for anybody, believe me. I'll have to get off the Bari if I can. One of these days, I will get off. Uh, Anything I can do to get off, I will. Get off the bar. What are you going to be doing next? Drinking some water. Getting a bottle. See if we can pump a bottle. It used to be friendly, but now it is not. You got gangsters, you got murderers, you got everything down there. You got to come down with a gun. And you got a gun, they're going to catch you with it. Because that's the only way you can protect yourself, you know that? I come down once in a while, look for my boys to get them drunk. I see them around, Johnny Conroy, and Trigger Burke, you know? Trigger Burke went to the chair. No. He killed Poochie Walsh. That's West Side Red was over in Pier 90. The pistol local, 824. Red is a retired gunman. But I don't work no more. They leave me alone because I retired. When did you retire? I retired, kid, about four years back. Red retired. Because I did a bit in Sing Sing, and that cured me. I don't want to go back to jail no more, you know. I come here on the bar for one reason. Only one reason. I, 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 I killed my, my wife. I loved her very dearly. I backed out of the garage of my car in Cincinnati. But I didn't know she was behind me. I, 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 I just want to go with her. I want to go with her. I'm, I'm a... Well, you don't know, no, but I'm a Catholic. I, 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 I'm not a very good one, but nevertheless, I am a Catholic. I, forgive me. Forgive me.